Have you noticed how our world has changed? Harmful emissions are destroying nature before our own eyes. The transition to green energy can save the planet. The Russian atomic corporation Rosatom is developing clean energy. Nuclear power plants prevent 2 billion tons of carbon emissions annually. To make it clear, we have to think nuclear. Rosatom, clean energy for life. This is a land full of wonder. A country of extreme contrasts. Where East meets West, some of the world's most spectacular landscapes have formed. Dense forests, vast wetlands, Rugged mountains, surrounded by colorful seas. This staggering array of environments has resulted in a melting pot of life. But this country's fragile ecosystems and the wildlife that inhabits them are now being pushed to the very brink Climate change is forcing some of the world's most iconic species to fight harder than ever to survive. Welcome to the Wild Eden of Turkey. Summer in the mountains of Turkey. These hot, arid lands make life difficult. But this country's unique position between three vastly different continents has created a biological superpower. Bridging the continents of Europe, Asia and Africa Turkey is home to a surprising range of climates. In a country iconic for its blistering heat and arid landscapes, lies a secret Eden, the province of Kars. Turkey's emerald crown. The combination of high elevation and high rainfall make cars a remote yet flourishing natural paradise. In this midsummer sun, these slopes burst into life. Flower meadows bloom, and valleys ring out to the sound of birdsong, including the call of one of the world's largest raptors. Weighing almost 14 kilograms, and with a wingspan of nearly three meters, the cinerous vulture is a true king of Turkey's skies. But this young male still has some growing to do. At just over eight weeks old, he relies on his parents to feed him. They've not returned for several days and the chick is becoming weak. Even in this bountiful habitat, stuck here, 
starvation is a very real threat. So this fledgling will need to take fate into his own hands. Urged on by instinct and hunger, he tests his developing wings. But he's not strong enough. Other raptors circle in the skies. Every passing bird could be mistaken for a parent. Fortunately, his luck is about to change. His mother returns. The young fledgling is quick to demand his feed. But first, the mother must prepare her youngster's meal. By regurgitating flesh scavenged from a distant carcass. Vultures are typically scavengers, often feeding on the remains of animals killed by carnivorous predators. And it's here, in these mountains, among deep gorges and ravines, that the continent's largest predator makes its home the brown bear. This female isn't alone. Her young cubs are never far behind. For her, the shaded woods are perfect for a midday nap leaving the cubs to one of their favorite activities. But they can't spend all day playing. Bears hibernate through the winter months, so with this bountiful time of year in full swing, they'll need to eat as much as possible. Luckily, there are many nutritious foods found across these blossoming flower meadows. These fields attract many bears, young and old. It's thought there are around 3,000 bears across Turkey. Many of them live here in the mountains of the Northeast, all thanks to the abundance of food. These sweeping meadows wouldn't be nearly as rich without one of nature's key ingredients. Despite temperatures of over 40 degrees, at this altitude, summer thunderstorms are common. High rainfall allows plant life to flourish. 
which in turn supports the high population of bears. But large males like this are typically solitary animals. He marks his scent on trees to tell other bears in the area to keep out of his way. But with so many bears here, confrontation is inevitable. Another male has ventured too close. Each armed with powerful claws, a squabble over territory could become a fight to the death. Intruder is scared off. And the defender reigns supreme. The rain passes as quickly as it arrived. And with the sun, a huge array of insects return to the wildflowers. but it's a particularly prickly plant that lures one of the world's most successful butterflies here. The Painted Lady has spread throughout Turkey and into the rest of Europe in search of its favored plant, thistles. It often lays its eggs on the prickly shrub. which soon hatches into an equally bristly caterpillar. Its insatiable appetite urges it on, searching for the most nutritious leaves. Around a week later, this caterpillar will begin its remarkable transformation, forming a cocoon called a chrysalis. Other caterpillars have already begun their metamorphosis. One of them is now ready to hatch. Fully emerged, the butterfly expels a red liquid called meconium, leftovers from the insect's transformation. After drying her wings in the summer sun, the painted lady prepares for her maiden flight. Now it's time to find the perfect launch site. It's 
a struggle at first. But this butterfly is determined to take off and do what she was built for. Her own incredible journey will continue to spread her species throughout northern Turkey's lush valleys. The terrain here in the north contrasts deeply with one of the country's harshest environments. Around a thousand kilometers to the west lies a much more unforgiving landscape. The Anti-Taurus Mountains. A vast stretch of rocky peaks reaching nearly 4,000 meters. It's one of the country's most inhospitable landscapes. The meeting of three tectonic plates, ancient glaciers and howling winds have forged these steep limestone cliffs into geological masterpieces. But even here, in one of Turkey's harshest environments, life finds a way. Around 150 unique plant species can be found here. But climate change is a threat to this endemic flora. And the loss of these fragile species would endanger one of the slope's most iconic herbivores. the ibex. But this female and her kids face a more immediate threat. They've been separated from their herd, making them an easy target for any of the mountain's large predators. Wolves roam these hills and an eagle or vulture could easily take a newborn. She needs to find their herd, and soon. in luck. Rejoining the herd gives her kids the best chance of survival in one of Turkey's most hostile environments. Further down the slopes, under the shadow of the mountains, a much more colorful creature also finds safety in numbers. Complex wetlands at the base of the mountain stretch for hundreds of square kilometers, resulting in one of Turkey's most precious habitats. Reed beds dominate the landscape, providing a haven for a vast array of bird life. including a colony of Turkey's quirkiest creatures. The Greater Flamingo. These colorful characters often congregate in flocks, reaching the hundreds of thousands. Here on the flats of Sultan Sansliay, around 80 individuals make up this relatively small colony all year round. 
They remain here thanks to the abundance of food in these saline waters. In search of a good meal, it's easy to step on each other's toes. But the real competition is a much more elegant affair. This synchronized march helps individuals determine who is in the best shape for mating. Once a suitable partner is found, chicks are soon to follow. Flamingos feed their young by secreting nutritious milk from their digestive system. And this chick will have plenty of support. Flamingos look after one another's offspring. This communal parenting ensures the next generation will grow up strong enough and give them the best possible chance when it's time to move on. typically migratory, preferring to stick close to reliable food and water sources. But in recent years, this country has seen many similar habitats disappear. Turkey's flamingos could soon be lost forever. In a climate of increasing global temperatures and drought, there has been unprecedented loss. Around 50% of the wetlands in Turkey have dried up in just 40 years. Vast, vibrant lakes are disappearing. Thriving marshes are becoming arid deserts. This 
habitat loss is making life increasingly difficult for many of the creatures that inhabit these delicate ecosystems. Including the dice snake. This male is searching for food. Being semi-aquatic, he typically predates on fish and amphibians. But in the increasingly hot summer months, the water often disappears. If he doesn't find prey fast, his quest will be over, sooner rather than later. Whilst some snakes face imminent peril, along the country's northwest coast, another serpent thrives. Fueled by moisture from the Black Sea, High rainfall results in one of Turkey's most lush and vibrant habitats. But as the sun sets, this paradise becomes the stalking ground for one of Europe's deadliest snakes. Despite reaching up to almost a meter in length and distinctive markings, it's this serpent's facial feature that makes it stand out from the crowd. The nose-horned viper. A cold-blooded killer. This female is on the hunt. She flicks out her tongue, picking up the potential victim's chemical trail. It'll lead her directly to the unsuspecting prey. Rodents make up a key part of her diet. One of these edible dormice would be a hearty meal. One bite from her fangs is enough to kill a human. These dormice won't stand a chance. Tonight, she goes hungry. Fortunately, she only needs one or two kills a week to survive. But in the south of Turkey, near the city of Mersin, is a creature that needs to eat almost non-stop. Dawn brings out this tiny animal with its giant appetite. Anatolian ground squirrels. After a long hibernation through winter, 
some grounds girls can lose almost a third of their total body weight. And in just a few months, they'll have to return to their winter burrows. So these hot summer days are spent bulking up. Strong claws make quick work of the tough plants, gaining access to the nutritious core. Whilst most of the colony are absorbed in their frenzied feasting, one male has sensed danger. The male calls the alarm, alerting the colony to the deadly threat. Egyptian vulture. The colony scramble for cover. Meal. Today, she's in luck. A rotting carcass is on the menu. And she's not dining alone. Often living in pairs, she will share this feast with her mate. They can travel up to 80 kilometers a day in search of food. But this meal isn't just for them. These birds are parents. chick is hungry. After three months, they will abandon the fledgling, forcing it to leave the nest and provide for itself. But the future of these birds is uncertain. Egyptian vulture numbers have declined in most parts of its range. Populations in Europe and most of the Middle East have decreased by over 60% in 40 years. As the sun reaches its peak, another Mersin resident is facing problems of her own. These open plains make this female spur-thighed tortoise vulnerable. She's not yet willing to mate, but she's almost walked directly into a battle-scarred male. Attempting to avoid detection, she tries to take a stealthy diversion. It's too late. The males spotted her. And the chase is on.
setting off at his top speed. The slightly faster male closes in on the female. Gradually. Her escape plan has failed. Time for the male to try out his best moves. He uses all of his charm to try and woo the female. His attempts are futile. The female is unimpressed and the two part ways. In this part of Turkey, these tortoises may not be getting down to business. But in the far west of the country, Another species of tortoise is involved in business of another kind. This is a male Herman's tortoise. And wherever he goes, he'll leave his waste behind. Once his work is done, it's time to move on to greener pastures. But one animal's trash is another's treasure. Seizing on the opportunity, this male dung beetle wastes no time and heads direct for the prize. A huge feast. But it's not long before another beetle arrives. Conflict is inevitable. The new arrival makes a bold move. The defending beetle holds his ground and can now take his time to enjoy the prize. But as the sun sets, another insect is enjoying a very different meal. A female praying mantis devours a freshly caught cricket. But she's not alone. Close by, a male mantis watches on. He's looking for courtship. But she is a cannibal. Kill and eat any uninvited males. 
Judging her mood is a matter of life and death. She thinks she's made herself clear. But the male doesn't give up easily. result in hundreds of babies. It's this high reproductive rate that's enabled these insects to become so widespread. But in the southern province of Antalya, the Manavgat River is the last sanctuary for one of Turkey's rarest animals. Over time, this water has worn through ancient stone, twisting and turning through forests, shaping the landscape seen today. Its steep wooded banks are perfect for one of the world's most endangered birds of prey. That emerges after dark with its trademark call. subspecies of the brown fish owl. This subspecies, found nowhere else in the world, was thought to be extinct. This pair are thought to be just two of 20 individuals alive today. but they've managed to give their species a fighting chance. After months of feeding, the pair have raised a fledgling chick. But it's along Turkey's Mediterranean coast, on the beaches of Dalian, that a very different species is trying its best to raise the next generation. There's more to this beautiful coastline than meets the eye. During the warmer months, these turquoise waters reach the perfect temperature for one of the sea's greatest nomads. The sun goes down. One of the sea's most tireless travelers has a long night ahead of her. A female loggerhead turtle. Journeying for many thousands of kilometers, she has returned to the beach where she was born digging a nest, she lays eggs at her ancestral home. She only mates once every two years, 
But when she does, she can nest up to six times, laying over a hundred eggs in each nest. Burying the eggs deep will hopefully keep them safe from predators. She's done everything she can to give her offspring the best chance of survival. As she makes her way back to the sea, further along the beach, the sand is already beginning to stir. Another loggerhead turtle's young are about to emerge. Beneath the sand, they've been growing inside their shells for around 60 days. The cool night air prompts the young turtles to break free of their nest. But global warming could threaten this species' very existence. Temperature determines the gender of each hatchling. The warming climate will result in more female turtles than males, threatening the species' genetic diversity. Tonight, these young hatchlings face a more immediate challenge. Making it to the safety of the sea. But ghost crabs stand in their way. Crustacean's strong claws could easily decapitate the young turtles. The hatchlings are completely defenseless. by the moon, an innate instinct draws them to the faint light on the sea's horizon. They have to make a break and take their chance. to run the gauntlet. The ghost crabs close in for the kill. Crustaceans are highly territorial. Fighting often breaks out amongst themselves. 
giving the perfect opportunity for the turtles to dash across the last stretch of beach. For those who have conquered tonight's challenge, this is just the beginning as they set off into the dark sea. The next generation faces greater challenges than ever. Whilst this land of contrasts thrives in places, many of its delicate Edens are being lost to climate change. Leaving an uncertain future for the wildlife found here. From the weird to the wonderful, all of these amazing species must fight for their very survival. Turkey's Wild Eden.